Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive turn or creator. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about what is the next phase in your life? And as you can see, all the piles today are moon inspired. And the reason for that is because I don't know about you guys, but the past few days were really intense for me. And I like, I haven't felt such a huge impact like of the moon energy in quite a lot, like long time. And I don't know, there was just something about the um, moon energy, the like couple of days and, um, it really impacted me big time, so I thought today I had to use the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. And yeah, my dear, as you can see, I have three pals for you to choose from as always. And today it's only cards, no crystals. So for pal one, we have the masculine, this beautiful card right here. For pal two, we have sovereignty. And pal three is the card focus. So as always, my dear, Feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards, of course, if you feel like you need a little bit more time. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but also in the comment section. And also, if you feel drawn to book a personal reading with me or you are interested in one and you would like to get further information, you can feel free to email me. My email is down in the description box, but also in the comment section. And also, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may or will resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's look into the question. What is the next phase in your life? Let's see. For my dear pal one, what is the next phase in your life? I'm going to first use some oracle cards and then we're going to dive deep into the tarot. So let's see for my dear pal Juan, what is the next phase in your life? One last shuffle, please. What is the next phase in your life, pal Juan? All right, my dear. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my rings got stuck. So for my dear pal Juan, Wow, okay, the sacral chakra. Um, discontent and boredom. Interesting, all right. One last card for my dear pal Juan. What is the next phase? Oh my goodness, too many cards. What is the next phase in your life? And we have positive movement forward. Now, you know what's very interesting? Um, <laughs> when I was shuffling, first let me make sure the cards are straight. <laughs> Because I don't quite see it. Let me see. Um, I think that's good. So you know what's very interesting? When I was about to shuffle the cards, my rings got stuck into each other. And um, seeing the way or we you know the cards, like which cards just came through, it doesn't definitely makes a lot of sense. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you could have definitely felt stuck for quite some time in your life. Um, maybe you felt like nothing is really going anywhere, okay? Um, I'm not getting a specific message here on which like part of your life. As an example, whether it's like love, career, spirituality, relationships, whatever. Um, it's not emphasized here because I feel like it could even go through... Um, like through different parts of your life it's not like as an example only one part of your life could feel a little bit stuck i feel like you have been bored and um just you know living day by day um just like that without really any excitement for quite some time and i do feel like as an example maybe career wise it's not it hasn't gone exactly the way you wanted it to go or as an example relationship wise you know i feel like it's multiple kind of themes here it's not only relationship or only love it's something that goes um kind of flows through all kind of areas of life you know i feel like in different areas of your life you weren't quite satisfied um again to the stagnation energy maybe you have been stagnant or 
again, nothing has really, you know, um, gone the way that you would have loved it to go or kind of you have hoped for. And it's very interesting because we got this content, um, this con this content, yeah, this content, and um, boredom here. And in the combination with these cards, what I'm feeling is that again, I feel like you guys have um, life has just been like gray or black and white and there was not a lot of color there you know I don't I feel like maybe you have been putting your energy and time um, whether it be career wise job wise or whatever into things that weren't really what you are passionate about or what you have hoped for you know the sacral chakra is a really um it talks all about as an example our creativity right and something that really like we are passionate about something that really makes us drive and I just feel like it really came short right um, in your life and um, this was a huge reason for why you have maybe felt like um, your life wasn't really that exciting or um, nothing was really you know happening the way you wanted to or you were just not really happy okay while you were working or in those relationships that you had because there was something missing and um i feel like it's the passion you know it's this excitement it's also this creativity like as an example maybe some of you guys are doing something work-wise career-wise which you are not that excited about or um maybe it didn't really go the way you wanted it to or you aren't as passionate right now about it as maybe you would like to be or maybe you are interested in something else there's this energy of putting your energy into something but it doesn't really like flourish the way you would like it to right but the positive thing that's being emphasized here is that the next phase in your life will be a time where you will be moving out of this you know you literally got the card of um the positive movement forward and that's a very interesting card to get especially because I almost felt like there is nothing really going on here like for you and then all of a sudden things are really speeding up for you so you can definitely um I'm hearing changes you know you can definitely expect changes coming your way as an example if you have felt stuck in your career and it was boring um it was just so maybe even exhausting or there was nothing really that made you excited passionate about your job or maybe even relationship okay again I'm not getting like specific like areas of your life because I feel like there are multiple ones that have been impacted on that not only one but regardless of that you're definitely moving into a much more light-hearted energy you see this um, person is actually um, you know on a, on a boat or, uh, and they are going towards the sun right so you are moving um, and look at that this person literally is facing the darkness although there is such a beautiful garden here they are choosing to look into the darkness right so what I'm seeing is that in the next phase of your life you will be leaving this kind of dark um, point of view and you will be going into much more light-hearted movement towards um, yeah um towards progress i'm hearing and it definitely has again i feel like you guys some of you guys have been in this kind of mindset or into the space because there was a lot missing in your life you know a lot of again maybe even creativity or passion or maybe even for some of you guys with um well, yeah with that being here that um Maybe even sexually speaking, you had some blockages, okay? That can also be the case, especially, I mean, this card is definitely a very sexy card. So that's very interesting. But let's look into some tarot. Let's get information. Oh my goodness. Let's get a little bit more information for you. So for my dear pal one, what is the next phase in your life? Let's see. For my dear pal one, what is the next phase in your life? For pile one, please, what is their next phase in their life? Okay. All right. Let's see for you, my dears. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? The four cups came out again. See, this boredom, this really... Uh, 
disappointed, not like not being interested in anything, just kind of being there. Okay, like this is for a lot of you guys, you've definitely not been excited or you have not felt excited for quite some time or yeah, eight of pentacles here. Maybe because some of you guys were um, working a lot or had a lot of responsibilities, a lot of stress even maybe um, and things that you need to care and I know um, put your energy into you. There's the fool. Yeah, there's this lighthearted energy here. We got the Page of Cups and the King of Wands. Wow, that's great. <laughs> so let's see for you guys. Let me put this right here. All right, so for my dear pal, yeah, the Chariot. What did I say? Things are definitely going to speed up for you. But let's get you first all the cards and then we will start. Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups, definitely. This new beginning um, of you kind of yeah being awakened again right let me see one card fell let me see all right you got the four of pentacles now let's get you one last card here for my dear pal oh my goodness what was that for my dear pal one the eight of cups oh okay and the high priestess as well here at the back of the deck, we got, yeah, the Two of Swords. Okay, all right. So, your next phase in your life is definitely, uh, <laughs> it's definitely moving into the right direction, okay? It's definitely kind of um, moving into a more lighthearted energy here. So, what I'm seeing for you guys is that, first of all, okay, your energy is highly kind of impacted um through the four of cups so i feel like um you know with the four of cups being here you guys definitely maybe recently or maybe for some time um have just felt really maybe frustrated or um not really that you know um abundant kind of feeling like a lot of things are working against you and literally maybe even people okay depending on which aspect of your life this is gonna highly um dominate resonate with but this is really what i'm seeing and maybe you hadn't felt like you had for quite a lot of time like a long time anything to be truly appreciated for like um off i'm sorry so maybe you just felt like like nothing is happening like if, like other people are getting or coming so far and maybe for some of you guys you are even kind of um comparing yourself to others right and this is even making you like even more frustrated because you feel like as an example um you may have had some people go with you to like um to school and um, you somehow feel like they are ahead of you or you are not where you're supposed to be. And maybe even relationships wise, maybe you feel like like all these people are already married or um, all these people have someone and like why, when is my time coming? Like there is this energy of waiting but being impatient and not like, like just... Like this energy of having like... Yeah, it's this energy of being felt, just feeling stuck. This is how I would describe it. Now, what is coming in your next phase of your life? Like, it's very interesting that the Four of Cups literally came up with the Chariot card here because these are very contradicting energies, you know? The Chariot is, um, like, as an example, the Four of Cups... Tops, oh, oh, I can't... <laughs> I can't talk. The Four of Cups is this very frustrating board and kind of stuck energy. Um, and the Chariot card is, but it's the speeding energy, you know, this kind of energy of moving forward, of, you know, this willpower, you know, even success, right? Just this, this speedy energy into the right direction. So in your next phase of your life, life is speeding up big time here. And this is especially um, another message for some of you guys, okay? Um, if you have relate like um, work-wise felt like you have been working a lot or you have been doing a lot and you did not take any time off or um, you were in the survival mode, then the message in here is really that you will um, need to, you know, 
to take care of yourself, nurture yourself. Make sure that you recharge your batteries, not that you one day wake up and your batteries are completely empty, you know. You never want this to happen. Yes, we all have responsibilities and so many things to do, but if like what is what is more important than our health? Like if we're not charged, if we're not in a state where um you know, we're not healthy, we cannot work and you don't want to end up in some kind of burnout and you know situation. So definitely take care of yourself. But that's actually what I'm seeing. I see that a lot of self-love, you know, a lot of self-care, a lot of self-appreciation um, is coming in the next phase of your life. And also emotionally speaking, you're going to definitely be in a more balanced state here. Um, I even see that you kind of are going to be really like receptive, you know, to maybe love or... Um, like these kind of exciting energies of maybe like going on dates or flirting or like being a little bit more lighthearted, you know, especially with the page of cups here as well. You are in your next phase of your life, you know, you're moving into a more so lighthearted energy. What is very interesting is that we got the fool and the four of pentacles here. And these combinations, like these two cards are actually giving me a very um, loud and clear message which is that in your next phase of your life you will be leaving your comfort zone and being more daring and more willing for kind of adventures and um new things you know you know aces in general are kind of new beginning energies right and with the full card being here the full card is the first card in the tarot it's the zero kind of like like oh, Guys, <laughs> someone has problems with their throat chakra or something like that, like with Wishiti. I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know why I have problems talking when it comes to your pile. Maybe some of you guys have not been really dishonest, um, not very honest with yourself. Maybe you have been dishonest. Um, maybe, again, regarding what you really want in your life, maybe you have been playing a role, not really being in your power, and the universe is really telling you to step more in you, to your truth okay what is it, what is it that you want like what is your like authentic self and are you living up to this person or are you playing with yourself are you um pretending to be someone else there is some kind of disharmony here when it comes to vishati this is really what i'm feeling here but again coming back to the full card the full card has the number zero it's the first card in the tarot and it almost feels like for me with the ace, the new beginning and the full card, which is the zero card, you're going to have kind of the reset moment in your life in which the next phase in your life will feel fresh and new. I feel like especially if we look at um, where you have been feeling recently, so kind of stuck, bored, frustrated, not kind of like in a way your life is not moving anywhere or not kind of the way you would like it to go to. What is happening in your next phase is that um, you will actually reset, okay? And it's really needed. And with that bold act um, that's going to somehow manifest itself, you're actually going to be able to leave your comfort zone. Because I feel like some of you guys, um, this can even be your comfort zone, you know? Sometimes, I mean, you need to understand, um, a lot of people are scared to leave their comfort zone um, because comfort zone feels safe right it feels like um familiar like we know we can control it we know um what how um how life is within this bubble that we have made for ourselves but it's very scary to um get out of this bubble right because you don't like you can't control it you don't know what's coming your way you're scared of this unknown but in order to upgrade in life we need to dar more we need to expand and um, we need to leave our comfort zone. And this is really what's coming in your next phase in your life. And what's going to happen is that, let me show you. You're going to leave that, okay? You're going to leave that, this discontent, <laughs> this discontent boredom. And you're going to move more so um, into this very passionate energy, okay? And um, 
you're gonna really allow yourself kind of to get out and really express yourself, expand yourself. And I'm seeing that a lot of passionate energy is definitely also with the King of Wands being here. You're gonna do more things that you love. You're gonna do more things that excite you. You're gonna be more creative and kind of leaving the mind which you are stuck on right now, okay? Overthinking, doubting yourself, being indecisive where life is going to, um, allowing other people to, you know, pressure you with their expectations regarding your life or what they want you to do or not to do or whatever. Um, you will kind of, you know, this girl here is blindfolded and those crowds are kind of um, pulling the strings here. What you're going to do in your next phase is take this blindfold off and <laughs> get those crowds away and those kind of strings is, is that a word i think so <laughs> and um you will be able to yeah lead your own life and this will be something which will lead you towards this more positive um path and there is one thing that i'm seeing here <sighs> don't think that this is for nothing because this definitely has been something or is something that um there is a purpose in it, okay? As an example, if some of you guys are living in a way where you are being um, lead, okay? You're, I'm sorry, you're being led by people's expectations, parents, family, um, spouse, partner, boyfriend, you know, people, friends, whatever, society, whatever, um, where this these kind of expectations come from. This is really happening because you are being prepared to leave this bubble and really to, you know, be who you came here to be. And um, this is kind of this um, this transformation that's going to happen, okay, in your next phase, in your life. And what is going to trigger is of definitely you leaving a lot behind with the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess being here. You kind of letting go of, as an example, those crowds, um, whatever this is, whether it's kind of mental energy, people, um, or whatever it is, okay, the past. It's more so of um, finally, like kind of, kind of finally leaving those, um, those strings that are, you know, controlling you like a puppet. And with the High Priestess being here, it's definitely gonna, like in your next phase in your life, you're gonna move into a kind of more intuitive side of yours, into, you know, the High Priestess is um, is an archetype of a person, especially the feminine, because the High Priestess represents more so the feminine energy of kind of um, a person who is a feminine or kind of a leader, you know? Um, a priestess right and I feel like again this is kind of this power that you are reclaiming from those crowds or whoever is kind of um, pulling the strings and um, you are also triggering a very kind of inner spiritual um, process this is what I'm seeing for you yeah so it's definitely a lot coming but it's for the better and you know it's great to know that so you can prepare yourself for it. So you're definitely moving into a very good place, my dear Pal One. So Pal One, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And yeah, if you liked it, if it resonated, then please make sure to like, comment or subscribe if you haven't. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. My email is down in the description box, but also in the comment section, and I will give you further information then. And also, my dear, if you would like to connect with me even more, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal one, take care. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's look into what is the next phase in your life? First, I'm going to use some oracle, my dear, and then we will dive a little bit more deeper into the topic with some tarot. So let's see for my dear pal too, what is the next phase in their life? What is your next phase in your life, my dear pal too? What is your next phase, pal too? What is the next phase in your life, pal too? All right, okay. So let's see, my dear. 
Let's see. Okay, Triumph. That's a great start. <laughs> so let's see. So we got partnerships and alliances here. We got choose wisely here. All right, so pile two. This is great energy. Like a lot of good things, like a lot of light-hearted energy here. Like, wow. Look that look at that. At the back of the deck, we got memories of love. So my dear pal too, there is like the next phase in your life is definitely a really kind of like if I had to explain what I'm feeling, it's it feels like um getting the fruits of your labor, you know, finally harvesting them. So what I'm seeing is that um a lot of opportunities, a lot of options are coming your way. First of all, let's look into career. This is um this is for me kind of the seven of um wands. I'm not quite sure whether this because there's an oracle card which is tarot inspired. But for me with this triumph card being here, this reminds me like exactly of the seven of wands, you know, also the way it's illustrated and also, you know, what it stands for, right? And what I'm seeing is that again, if some of you guys have been putting a lot of work into your career, um, if you have risked something, okay, if you have really like worked hard for quite some time, then I'm seeing that things are really gonna, um, you know, work out. And especially if some of you guys have tried to maybe um, like if there is something in particular that you're really trying to gain or get, you know, especially work related, there is definitely a lot of positive energy here. Like this can literally be a great job offer or, um, money coming in, you know, as, as well with choose wisely here, which reminds me of the seven of cups, right? The seven of ones here, the seven of cups, the three of cups from me here, or the, th I'm sorry, the three of pentacles as well. Um, it's a very promising energy. It almost feels like, um, the universe is granting your wishes, you know, wishes that come from a place, um, of love because of all the effort all the self-work, you know, kind of all the things that you have put into yourself and into your job and um, into those aspects, even maybe relationships like um, certain co like contacts and everything. And I like if some of you guys haven't had the opportunity to choose, right, or have had the freedom to, um, you know, choose, um, then what's coming is that you will get a lot of options coming your way. And that's a great, a great, great sign here because it really feels like um, the next phase in your life is going to give you a lot of freedom because what's options at the end of the day, if one person has options to choose from, that's freedom. The more options you have, the more freer kind of you are. Um, and what I'm seeing is that you will definitely be able to... Um, to choose and make a very important choice I'm hearing regarding something about your life. But it's definitely the kind of energy of um, moving ahead, you know, and also with the three of pentacles being here, um, it is really all about you guys as well, um, like working with other people and um, making great connections. You know, as an example, if some of you guys have not really felt like, um, that's only an example here, if you haven't really felt like you had friends who you really genuinely um, clicked with or colleagues, right? I mean, Pentacles energy is like work energy anyways. This can even kind of show that um, when it comes to your job, you will be having people around, okay, who, um, yeah, who you can really beautifully work with, you know? It's a very optimistic energy. It's a very kind of energy um, that's encouraging you to look forward to life, you know. So the next phase in your life, there is quite a lot you can expect from it. Yeah. Let's look a little bit more into that. Let's get you some tarot, my dear. So from my dear pal to 
Let's see, guys. For pal two, what is the next phase in your life? For pal two. So let's see for pal two, what is the next phase in your life, my dears? For pal two, what is the next phase in their life? Okay. Let's see. For pal two, what is the next phase? The three of wands. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. None of pentacles. I felt that big time. Let's see. Oh my goodness. What card just... <laughs> Nine of wands. All right. For my dear pal two, what is coming in your next phase? In the next phase in your life. Please let the card fall down. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, we got two cards here. We got the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Let me put those cards a little bit more here. Alright. Very interesting. Pal 1 also got a King right there. So, let's see for you, my dear Pal 2. So, what is... The next phase in your life. What is the next phase in your life? We got the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. That's great. Let's see for my dear pal two. Oh my goodness. The Ace of Cups and the Magician card. That's that's awesome. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright. So for my dear... Please let the card fall down. For my dear pal to what is the next phase in your life? Oh my goodness, did you see that? It almost fell into the flames. You got the three of swords and the nine of wands here. Interesting. Let's get you one last card. For my dear pal to And we got the page of wands. All right, all right. At the back of the deck, my dear, we got the Queen of Swords. Now, let me make sure all the cards are visible here. Let me see. Okay. All right, pal two. Um, there is so much, like, energy in here, okay, on so many kind of different aspects of your life. So, there is a lot happening. I feel like already as well, but um, in your next phase in, in particular, you know, a lot is happening here. So with the Three of Wands being here, the Three of Wands really um, is this triumph energy. It's talking about things that are actually finally manifested, like um, being materialized, you know, like you will actually be able to get those things that you may have put effort into for quite some time to manifest um, and you may have been waiting you know for those things to come into your life or to again as I said materialize so um, it's kind of this um, like <laughs> like the three of wands literally talks about um, this improvement right it literally talks about this arrival arrival of um, of this of the options of the opportunities okay so a lot of um abundant energy here as well with the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles you guys is the like, one of the most stable cards okay which talk about kind of stability and security and i feel like your finances are definitely going to increase and um coming back to here with the eight of cups and the knight of wands and the three of wands being here what I'm seeing is that um, there is one thing that um, that you can kind of always um, is it is concentrate on the right word, but you know there is always. First of all, do you hear the the wind? Do you hear it? Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> like there is a storm out there. Um, but yeah, coming back here, so. What I wanted to say is that with the Knight of Wands being here and the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands, 
there is one thing that you can actually always kind of go back to if you want to check whether you are in the right path in your life or not. Always look into your life and see whether you have this passion for life or not. You know, sometimes we, this was really the energy of Pal Wang. Um, it almost felt like they are in a place in their life where they don't have any excitement left. They are just bored. They're just frustrated, disappointed, you know, disappointed. And like, they're just, they don't feel alive. And there is this advice for you that always check whether you are passionate about what you're doing and about your life. Because if this is a yes, then you are heading towards the right direction in which you will be harvesting um, the fruits of your labor. And if you feel like, no, that's not the case, I'm somewhere, I'm stuck, I, I hate everything and, you know, these kind of energies, then this is always a sign for you to leave that. Because, you know, people, first of all, we as human beings, we can go through life through so many different ways, you know. Some people, as an example, go through life very logical. Others, very intuitive, you know, whatever it is. But for you guys, it's really all about acknowledging your emotions and seeing whether something makes you feel good or not and if you go with that i feel like that's a great kind of um what is it called in english um oh my goodness okay um compass um your emotions are a great compass to kind of look into the fact whether you are in the right path or not. And what I'm seeing is that in the next phase of your life, you're definitely going to step so much more into your energy, your power. You got the magician here. So you're going to step so much more. Like Pal One also got this kind of energy about stepping into their power. But um, it was more so like a very long way to go. For you guys, you are actually, like, you have done the work, you know. It, again, it's kind of this energy of um, harvesting or, like, um, being able to get those, as I like to say, fruits of your labor. Like, this is how it feels like. It feels like you have already done the work which was required. Um, and you will really be able to make a lot of work. Wow, look at that. We got the Three of Wands, which talks about someone who has kind of got the manifestations um and the magician is literally the yeah the master of manifestation so you guys are great manifestors and i feel like in the looking into the next phase of your life you're really going to enhance um those your like your abilities okay you're going to consciously manifest even more and that's a great thing and what's also very interesting here, um, you got the nine of wands here, okay, coming through or um, in the combination, better to say, with the three of swords. And the three of swords, um, you know, for some people, the three of swords is only heartbreak or pain and that's it. But this card is so much more complex. And you see, there's this heart here which is broken, but there are like there are these strings which are still kind of holding it together. And the three of swords, um, in all of its kind of darkness, maybe even, still signifies as well um, this this how do you say it in English? This um, kind of finding um, your passion back, finding, you know, the Nine of Wands talks about, as an example, um, kind of the motivation, like also having motivation when things get more difficult. And the Three of um, Swords talks about finding this inspiration, you know, that you may have um, lost or maybe wasn't there. And um, it talks about kind of, this darkness coming into light um i don't know how to describe it this energy that i'm feeling yes it may be a card which talks about heartbreak but at the same time it's a card which talks about the opportunity of healing and that's very important to to see 
um, and especially with the combination of the nine of wands with it, which is kind of this very um, determined energy you know of someone like kind of um, you know pushing and pushing no matter what comes you know into the life to still go on still work and still push into you are um, like where you want to be so I see that you guys um, you have done so much you know it's not like these things coming your way are just coming your way you have done so much for it and um, this is even kind of um, confirming in the way that um, all the work that you have done right and like I just feel like you guys have like no matter what maybe has happened in your life you always find a reason to move forward to go on and no matter how painful it was right and what's coming in your next phase is really kind of also with the eight of cups being here you kind of mm, acknowledging your triggers okay maybe for some of you guys there has literally been some heartbreak heartbreak or something very painful in your life something very difficult and it's really all about um leaving this 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 negative energy because even though things are thriving in your life still this energy is in your present um energy okay even maybe if you haven't think like thought about it for quite some time um it's still there and it's all about you guys working through it so you can actually leave it behind let it be the past and not kind of take it with you from one phase to the other phase so you know as an example like um there's so so many people who are reliving or who are still carrying baggage from like 20 years ago into the next phase in their life and again and again and again and with you guys this is not what i'm feeling is coming your way in the next phase this is more so this past energy that you have been carrying with yourself and what is happening in your next phase is this um this need for you to actually let it go so you don't keep carrying it with you and you need to, you know you know for yourself what it is how it will resonate i'm pretty sure you know what i'm talking about what this trigger what this anxiety what this heartbreak may be that you're still carrying with you or like with yourself um but it's being emphasized here that there's this need of finally kind of allowing it to be the past you know um as an example that's just an example if this has something to do with like um with a relationship okay that somehow is still stuck on you if you take it with you okay year after year phase after phase if as an example someone comes across and they are a great person this energy that you are carrying with yourself may influence the great person that you have met because maybe because of the ex or because of the past person there are some triggers or there is something that's really um that may hinder you from you know experiencing something great so you should be mindful about that this is all i'm saying that um don't allow those triggers to um influence your life especially if those triggers are from like past energy make sure that they will not determine um as an example whether you have whether you can have a great relationship or not you know let me see so um what i also find really great in your pile is that um the, not, the, the last kind of um, pile right there is the combination of the cards like the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups and the Page of Wands. So it really talks about, um, like again, I feel like in your next phase, my dear, you will have a lot of stability. It's not like I'm only talking necessarily about financial security or stability. With the King of Cups, it is really um, an internal stability, okay? And I feel like, again, 
it will be achieved because you will also have to face that, okay? So it actually kind of is supposed to happen that way. Um, but eventually you will kind of be in this king of cups energy in which you will first of all as an example the king of cups stands for emotional kind of um like someone who's emotionally available maybe for some of you guys because of past heartbreak you tend to guard yourself maybe you are not even quite ready for love or emotionally available um then this is something that needs to be triggered and worked through in a way so you can be the king of cups and when the right person comes or when the union comes through that you will actually be able to yeah to do it and you can be reset like receptive for it so the stability is not only financial stability again it is an internal one, as an example, emotional stability, right? Um, a more so peaceful state. It's very interesting. You got sovereignty. So the word sovereignty is really soothing, um, like kind of matching um, your energy here, like how the way it's coming through in the piles. Now, you also, my dear, got the, um, the page of wands, right? And the Page of Wands in the Tarot is one of my all-time favorite cards um, because it's just this light-hearted energy, like, like, like someone who's so passionate about life, someone who's so passionate about what they are doing, about where life is heading, someone who's living a very expand life, uh, like um expanding their horizon living their creativity expressing themselves and this is really what i'm seeing in your next phase in your life so it's a very uplifting energy yeah so my dear pal too please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading and yeah if you liked it please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and if you would like to book a personal reading with me or you would like to get further information you can feel free to email me. You will find the time, uh, not the time sense. <laughs> you will find the email in the description box, also in the comment section. And yeah, then I will give you further information regarding a personal reading with me. And also, if you would like to connect with me even more, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal too, take care. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's look into the question. What is the next phase in your life? Now, my dear, what I'm going to do is I will first get you some oracle cards and then we'll dive a little bit deeper into some tarot. So you are the only pile that I felt like using this deck for. Um, the other piles got the psychic tarot oracle deck, but for you guys, I feel like the spell costing. I was really drawn to take that. So let's see. For my dear pile three, let's see. What is the next phase in your life? All right. For pile three, please. What is the next phase in your life? Let's see. Ooh, passion. Passion, passion, passion. I'm hearing. That's great. We got beauty. Well, okay. For my dear pal three, one more card. What is the next phase in your life? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, a lot, a lot coming through here, but I only want more. <laughs> one more. So let's see. For my dear pal three, what is the next phase in your life? What is pal three? What is the next phase in your life? <sighs> okay, I only want one thing, one card. One last card, please. What is the next phase in Pile 3's life? For Pile 3, what is the next phase in your life? What is the next phase in your life? No card wants to come out. Excuse me, my dear Pile 3, my battery died. <laughs> so let's see, for my dear Pile 3, what is the next phase in your life? All right, and we got family here. At the back of the deck, we got the justice card. Let me make sure all the cards are in one line. Let me see. All right, all right. And the justice card. So my deep health three, um, you guys have like 
Wow. There is a lot of love energy in this pile, okay? I would say probably the most out of all the piles. Um, for some of you guys, in your next phase, you can literally either, you know, get into union with someone very significant um, or get to know someone very significant, depending on whether there is someone significant already in your life or not. But what I'm seeing is that um, there is a huge emphasis here on love. So you may either meet someone or um, you may, for those of you guys who already know this person, you may become in union or you may somehow, um, you know, stabilize your connection. But it's, you know, the, when, I t when I say love, yes, there is this emphasis here on relationship, like romantic relationships here, literally family even, okay? Um, of course, not for everyone, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys would like to have a family, you would like to have kids, but this is just a very small minority because I feel like it's more so, it's about the feeling, you know, the same way a healthy family feels like full of love and everything this is how you will be feeling in your next phase in your life but this love can come through in so many different ways it could be self-love right it can be literally finding someone who we share this with it can even be like literally the love of a family right creating a family or marrying whatever it is but um like, it can even be love to the divine, you know? I just feel like in the next phase in your life, you're really going to feel a lot of love. And, um, you know, we got passion here as well. So for some of you guys, it could be the case that in the next phase of your life, you will be having... Um, I'm hearing a very kind of fiery like relationship or attraction towards someone... Um, or you may just in general be very passionate about life, about yourself, okay? The beauty card is giving me major self-love, major self-appreciation energy here. So again, it's not only about we and our external kind of world. It's definitely as well um, the internal world that we have. And as you can see, your card, um, the card you chose, this beautiful woman actually here has her closed, uh, has her eyes closed, so that really feels like looking within. So, some of you guys could have done a lot of um, spiritual work, you know, and it almost feels like you are you are in a p place in your life in which um, you feel whole, or you are really going into a phase in your life in which. Um, Things are really going to work out for you. You're going to be passionate about life. You're going to feel it, you know. A lot of self-love. Like, a lot of love. Especially with the Justice card being here. It almost feels like you will be you will be getting um, um, what you deserve. You know, you're going to get um, your karma, kind of. It feels like it feels like you um, getting kind of what you deserve, you know, your karma kind of, you know. So, yeah, that's a very kind of encouraging um, energy here. So I'm just hearing love, 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 and um, honestly speaking, the other piles did not get this energy coming through like like that no mm -mm. so let's see let's get you some tarot cards my dear pal three so let's see pal three what is the next phase in your life for pal three please what is the next phase in your life for pal three what is the next phase in your life my dear oh my goodness one card fell let me see where is it? Okay, multiple cards fell. And I'm not going to take them. I only want one. So let's see. For my dear pal three, what is the next phase in your life? What's that? Oh my goodness. The justice card. And you got this justice card. Are you kidding me? 
So you're definitely, um, yeah, you know, getting your karma, but like you're getting finally um, all the kind of good energy that you have put out, you know, and um, great consequences, you know, of the actions that you have taken. Um, it's a very light-hearted, very balanced state. Um, your next phase so far doesn't feel um, heavy, you know, it, it really feels enjoyable. That's really what I'm feeling here. So for my dear, oh my goodness, interesting, the devil card being here. Interesting, so let's see what that's about. So for my dear pal three, yeah, look at this, the judgment. I really feel like you may have somehow, again, um, freed yourself from something or someone and you just feel free. You just feel like ready to go. Um, it's also a very kind of, you know, spiritual card, right? The, f the judgment card. Okay, what's that? Another card fell. And the Hierophant. So for my dear pal three, what is the next phase in your life? Let's see. For pal three okay yeah it's this you have ended something you have oh let me make sure i feel like the cards are all a little bit let me make sure they're all in one line okay you, the devil coming through with the two ten of swords yeah you have definitely freed yourself okay from well, let me first get the cards and then i will start that's just faster so let's see from my deal pile three what is the next phase in your life look at that i can't what the you got the four of wands and it really reminds me of the family card here that's just amazing and look at that at the back of the deck you got the star card pile three wow like okay <laughs> like, i don't even know where to start okay but okay so first of all coming back to the justice card because we have quite a lot of you know synchronistic energy here the justice card and this card right there um the family card and the four of wands the king of wands and the passion you know it's really being kind of um <laughs> Like the energies are kind of being confirmed in a way, <laughs> which is really interesting. So now let's look into the spread. So what I'm seeing for you, the next phase in your life. Again, what I'm seeing is that um, you may have first of all left something um, or brought an ending through like towards something very painful in your life. We got the devil here. It could mean um, you may have really worked through your shadow. You could have done shadow work or maybe you went through the dark night of the soul. Maybe you have had somehow toxic people around or maybe you yourself, you know, broke free from some kind of toxic habit or addiction, you know. Um, it could be a toxic relationship, either family, romantic. It doesn't matter. It's just this kind of caged toxic energy which was stuck on you, but um, this is, I feel like, something the majority of you guys have already done, um, but take it how it resonates, maybe some of you guys are literally in the process of it, but with the Ten of Cups, um, sorry, the Ten of Swords being here with the Devil, what you have done is put an ending to that, you know, it may have been really difficult, it may have been really painful and so like hard and so um draining but you have made it you have put an end to that and this bold act this courageous act this very cur like brave thing that you have done um the thing that you may have ended has really kind of changed a huge um like it has like a huge burden in your life is not going to follow into your, the next phase so to speak because this is more so, again, with the justice card being here, um, it is more so this karma that you have um, left behind, like um, that you have worked through, you know, and you have kind of, yeah, you know, the actions that you have taken, actions, you know, follow consequences. And the consequences coming into your life in the next phase are definitely... Um, 
very like yeah or you know very mm, are full with into like integrity and um joy and um balance you know it's gonna be definitely um i feel like a more so easier phase than the past you may have just um closed okay so this phase is definitely more light um and more like i see sunshine you know also with the star being here i feel like you're gonna gain a lot of um hope okay for the future in this phase you're gonna so maybe some of you guys again have certain wishes or dreams or hopes for the future could literally be this relationship that um this energy of love that i'm seeing here okay or maybe it's just you know the star card is a very healing card maybe it's just you want to see yourself somewhere in particular you know i feel like in the next phase of your life you're going to take a lot of actions which are required um to come closer to your dreams you know because at the end of the day um actions are necessary right and um that's what i'm seeing i feel like in the next phase of your life you're going to take the actions which are needed for you to come closer to certain things that you are hoping for or wishing for or dreaming for as an example if you guys are manifesting um something um let's say you're doing all the visualization in the world for okay this is um <laughs> this is just a small example here and it doesn't have to um resonate okay it's just like i just have heard it but um let's just assume some of you guys would like to create a t like a youtube channel you may be visualizing and doing all the scripting and all the manifestation um but at the end of the day you need to take action and create one you know you can visualize till the end of time but you need to take the action which will trigger it right it's important um and what i'm seeing is that as an example coming back to this like you will be taking some kind of action which will bring you or which is very crucial to your like coming closer to your wishes and dreams this is how i would describe it here <sighs> some of you guys maybe would like to step more so in your into your spirituality like the next phase of your life for some of you guys is a heavy spiritual one also with the hierophant here this can mean literally an awakening it can mean um connecting with energies with spirit connecting um with your spiritual side maybe you would like to teach people to help people spiritually okay um whatever it is maybe for some of you guys this is something you really would like to do and in the next phase in your life you will have the opportunity to kind of um do the necessary steps i'm hearing okay or maybe some of you guys would like to um yeah maybe some of you guys as an example if you have a certain dream i feel like again you're gonna come closer in the next phase in your life to it maybe you're gonna take the necessarily training or um as an example if there's someone th these are just examples okay they don't have to resonate but i i'm just trying to kind of um make you guys understand what i'm feeling so as an example when i'm talking about you will kind of um come closer to your dream if someone as an example would like to become a yoga teacher then in the next phase of your life you could actually go and get the training you know that's what i'm feeling in one way or another you're going to come closer to a certain wish or dream that you have um yeah th that's definitely something that i'm seeing for you guys here um but it's, it's definitely a yeah it, like kind of something that you have been maybe even waiting for okay because with the judgment card being here some of you guys are definitely going towards a spiritual like um journey or phase into your life um like how should i say it it's not like you know um you may have not been there like how should i okay no what i want to say is that i feel like the next phase in your life will be heavily spiritually dominated like this is what i mean as an example you could literally go through a spiritual awakening or you could literally um 
somehow have a revelation in which um, you're going to be exposed to um, your spirit guides, your higher self. You may be doing so much more in your life coming from a very wholesome place. Or um, is it whole? Like, how should I say? I feel like you're going to dedicate yourself more so to your spiritual side. This is what I would say. Yeah. But it's not like it's something that you, that you're not gonna like enjoy. It's actually something that's gonna, um, with the King of Wands being here, make you really confident, make you really understand what it is that you really want in your life. It's kind of a phase in your life where you're gonna question a lot, but it's needed. You know, it's needed because you're gonna really go into this mm, deep conversation with yourself and with the energies with the universe with god whatever it is that you believe in and which you're really gonna think about whether um where you are right now is um is where you would like to like um is, whether you would like to continue you know it's a very kind of conscious face yeah this is as an example, but it's but but it's in a good way, you know. It is needed, and I feel like this is gonna be one of those phases in which you're gonna like remember, you know, in your life always, because maybe something major will happen. You will meet someone major. You will experience something very huge in your spiritual journey. It is all about you. Like you are going into a phase in your life where you allow love to guide you, not fear. This is what I want to say. But yeah, that's again, that's you're gonna step into a very major kind of time in your life, my dear. But it's gonna be for the better because with four of wands being here and four of wands actually closing this, um, this reading that really shows me that, um, you're gonna move into a very kind of safe place in your life, you know, a very sacred, a very, um, comfortable face in your life yes it may take some time or may take some effort but eventually it's gonna be for the best version of you you're gonna step into the best version of you okay so that's actually yeah that's great okay so my dear pal three please feel free to let me know how you feel about this rating and yeah, my dear, if you liked it, I would be so happy if you would perhaps like, comment, or subscribe. You know, show me that it resonated with you. And yeah, my dear, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, or you would like to get information about a personal reading, you can feel free to email me, and I will give you then further information. You will find the email in the description box, but also in the comment section. And if you would like to connect with me even more, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal three, take care.